Hi, I'm Jeff Cavins, and I'd like to talk to you for just a few minutes about something that is so important for me as a disciple of the Lord. It was uh, uh, over 40 years ago that I ended up buying my first Bible. I remember going in and getting that leather Bible, and, and uh, I was so protective of it, and I didn't want anything to happen to it. And then I thought to myself, why not get a beautiful leather cover for my Bible? because it would protect the Bible, and so I did. And I went out and I got this leather cover for my Bible. And uh, you know, it has gone with me everywhere in the world, and I so appreciate it because I got to thinking that the most precious thing I have in my life is the Word of God. And putting a beautiful leather cover on it is, is kind of like clothing the Word of God. In fact, the Jews in antiquity, they would have wonderful ornaments and things to cover the scrolls because it was the Word of God. And so all these years, I have carried this Bible around with me with this cover. As you can see, it protected it quite well, even though this Bible, which is so written in, <clears throat> I've lived with this for so long, um, it, it, was, it was literally rebound twice because I used it so much, but the cover kept it really in good shape. And then years after that, I ended up with another Bible and I got another leather cover. Point is, is that my leather covers have been on my Bible for years. And, and it's interesting because I start to identify my Bible by the leather cover on the front, on the outside of it. You know, people have asked me, well, why is it so important for you to clothe the Word of God with a beautiful leather cover? And I tell them because it's so precious and my grandkids and my children have seen me for years carrying my Bibles around. The outside of this Bible, they're familiar with. And someday I'm gonna be gone and I'm going to give my relatives my Bibles with those beautiful leather covers on the outside. And so it's really become very special to me. There's also something about the aging of a Bible that it's a mystery. They call it patina, you know? You take a beautiful brand new leather uh, cover and over the years it darkens with the oils in your hand, the places you bring it. And after like 20 or 30 years, it it sort of has a message all by itself that this Bible has been places. It has traveled with me. It's not just up on the bookshelf and every once in a while I take it down. It is with me day in and day out. And my Bibles have traveled with me all over the world. I mean, literally, I have taken these Bibles to Israel dozens of times, Europe, all around the country speaking. And it's so interesting, and I know this about, about aging and patina, is that people come up to me after I speak and they'll say, do you mind if I see your Bible? And I say, sure, no problem. And I hand it to them and they will look at it and you can see them looking at the leather cover. It's kind of an incarnational mystery, isn't it? That the cover says something about the journey. A number of months ago, I was thinking about the new Great Adventure Bible and I, I thought, wow, it, it would be really, really cool to find somebody who could make a beautiful leather cover for the Great Adventure Bible, which is really my Bible now. It's the Bible I go to. It's color-coded and helps you read through the story of salvation history as a complete narrative. And one day, I was over at a friend's house and he introduced me to someone who made Bible covers, just like that, David, David Cruz from Aremos. And we struck up a friendship and he started talking to me about all the different covers that he makes for not only Bibles, but for prayer books and, and uh, all, you know, all kinds of liturgy of the hours. And I said, well, can you send me a couple? And he did. And I was blown away at the quality of leather that Aremos comes up with. It was just amazing in the diversity of leathers that he uses. And I wanted to, I wanted to introduce them to you because I think that they're fantastic. And this might be just exactly what you are looking for to cover your great adventure Bible. So these are some of the Bibles I've had in the past and my covers on them and they have been with me all these years. 
and have served me very, very well. And I just want you to know that if you want a leather cover, don't just go for a leather cover, but support Catholic ministries, young people who are out there to try to make a difference and bring beauty into our lives. That's Oremos and David Cruz. And if you are interested, get in touch with him and he can make beautiful Bible covers for you and much more. God bless.